Clench those cheeks, my big boys, because a spanking is upon us. A spanking called Luxor's Dida's Gift. It gives a creature replying walker plus plus one for each counter on it, alongside Devoted Druid. Makes infinite mana. And players are not really concerned. We can already make infinite mana with Azir. And lately, Devoted Druid decks have not done so well. The deck just loses the creature removal. But despite the lack of enthusiasm, Gift is actually pretty crazy. With a good chance of making Devoted Druid a top tier deck. As crazy as that sounds, there's a lot to like about Gift. Obviously, we can dig for it with Urza Saga, or for only one mana with Steel Shippers Gift, or even the Stone Forge Mystic. So not only is it super easy to dig for Gift, but we can also dig for a Longbow, allowing Devoted Druid to deal infinite damage. Again, on the surface, this doesn't seem that special, but much like strippers, the deck draws its power from its flexibility. If our opponent is expecting the combo, we can set you stun forward to put out culture complete, or alternatively, we can always combo with Azir, and our opponent kills Druid, we can bring him back from graveyard with haste, and even if our opponent tries to exile Druid, we can always all awkward Druid in the graveyard. Or what if we skip all that, and just win with constructs? Or what if we use Gift to animate Ren in six? Much like my uncle's peen, Ren can get really big really quickly, and when Ren is a creature, he can't be attacked by opponent's creatures, and does not lose loyalty to damage. I think you get the idea. We come from many angles, in more ways than one. But for Daddy's favorite part, Chancellor does Tangle. If he's in our opening hand, we make an extra man on our first turn, along with all of our stuff on turn one. And if we turn one druid, we can make four mana by turn two, and we go infinite for the win. Or at the very least, we go infinite to play Chancellor, working especially well with jumps and caverns, which also helps accelerate us. Lastly, we have Karn to grab artifacts from our sideboard, snatching our combo pieces, or even Bastos Caller, because how sexy would it be to animate Ren, pinging our opponent's creatures with Death Touch. That is the deck now. It's time for the gameplay. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video, because Daddy's doing an ampersand giveaway. And as for other great news, Daddy now sells commander sized life total deck boxes. I only have a small batch of them right now, because the magnetic life counters take a long time to make, so I'll get them while they're here at deckonow.com, and now it's on to the gameplay. Opening hands very spectacular. We're Keep, fetch, and now play gift. Our opponent better be fast. Our opponent has fear, but I think our artifacts better. Play canopy, and then druid. Our opponent has one turn to win. Our opponent draws a mix of mana, digging with stirrings, finding Bastage good for them, but not good enough. Make three mana, equip, and now go infinite. Hooray! And with infinite mana, play longbow, equip, and now we can tap to ping, pinging for infinite. So it's on the next game. Opening hand, oh my. We can accelerate with Chancellor, so we'll definitely keep. Our opponent begins with power plant and star. Now make mana with Chancellor, fetch a land, and put out druid. What's our opponent gonna do about that? Oh, second land. Oh, and so and scrying so they can pop off next turn. Come on, something good. Nah. Actually, wait. That's pretty good. Because of seven mana next turn for our opponent, they can play Karn Exile. Now with the second one, we should be pretty safe. So here's what we'll do. Play a sexy land and a mystic. Finding gift. And now make mana. Untap. Make a second mana. And play a second druid. But unfortunately, no infinite payoffs next turn. Unless we draw something. Oh, and there's Karn. Exiling our druid. So in response, we'll place two counters in druid. Sending druid to Jesus. And please, we need to pay off. We pull Steelseeker's gift. Daddy's gotta think about this. Well, we have enough to dig for a longbow because we could reanimate. So we'll have to set aside one white for gift. No, we're one mana short, so we'll have to wait a turn. In that case, swing at Karn, and then put out Ren, getting back a line from Graveyard, play it, and might as well dig for a long bow, and then pass our opponent. Our opponent plays a map and cracks it. Up in Karn, first has to exile card from hand. Bump Ren. Uh oh. Our opponent plays a second Karn, trying to exile Druid again. We'll all Akbar it. And unfortunately for our opponents, their butt cheeks are ours. Return a line with Ren, crack it, and no lunge for two. Bring Druid back with haste, play gift, float three mana, and now we go infinite. Fantastic! Because now with long bow, victory is ours. What a spanking to kick things off, and now it's on to the next match. Opening hand is a Chancellor, so we're gonna keep. Putting out Druid. Now we'll see what opponent's got. Opponent plays an Arn of and passes. What a loser. Not much we can do this turn. So we'll play a land and pass for now. Opponent plays there's a Saga. And so far as Mystic finding calls are complete. How unfortunate for opponents. We'll play Call. Putting Vizier in hand. And now it's time for fun. Play Vizier. Net out infinite mana. And with one white. Call. Grabbing Ballista. And it's Ballista for the win. So beyond game two. Opening hand we have Druid. But it seems a little slow. We'll mole. Uh oh, stinky. Two Chancellors, but no land. A little mole. Oh, and this is pretty good. We got the bottom two. Put on the right side. Reveal Chancellor. And and gemstone. Exiling Chancellor. Our opponent scores off some artifacts. Chancellor triggers, along us to play Mystic. We're having culture complete. And now it's back to opponent. Our opponent plays Memnite. Colossus Hammer. But then they pass back. Wow. We find Gift, meh. But more importantly, put out Caldra. And now we swing in for five. Our opponent takes it back to them. Alright, opponent swings for two. Okay. Then they play Steel Super's Gift. Oh, <laughs> grabbing Paradise Mantle. I guess we're stuck on one land. Not that we're doing much better. We lose Saga. Grabbing a long bow. Now play Gift. And now fist for five. And it's back to opponent. Our opponent plays an Eclipse of Mantle. Playing Drum and then passes. What? Oh well, sucks for them. Meh. Call for for us. We'll swing for another five. Our opponent takes it like mama, and sadly we'll have to pass back. Uh oh, opponent has a second land. Flying Kirstel Paladin, darn. Which means we're gonna quit for zero. Our opponent hits it for eleven. Plays a stone forge. Finding another hammer. This will be a rough one. We'll grab a creature. Our opponent draws. Finding Druid. And we draw Saga. Huh. If we chump two creatures, we might be able to survive until next turn. Plus, our opponent can't use Shadow Sphere because Calder complete will kill it before Chample goes through. So we'll put out Druid and start praying. Here comes Hammer. Our opponent draws. Calder complete. Our opponent comes in for a lot, but we have our opponent pinned. Blocks like that. We survive it one swing and we have lethal hooray a very close one but it's on the next match opening hand no combo pieces oh we do have a turn two cauldra so we'll keep float mana play mystic and now it's time to race our opponent we'll turn one amulet and nice land for us put out cauldra complete swing for five opponent goes to 15 opponent makes mana ramping with azusa and then opponent passes flame the land i took out that amulet though so here's what we'll do hit our opponent for five dig with gift and our opponent's upkeep with sage you their amulet although they can still get titan this turn uh oh there's titan our opponent gets out on that load of lands and nice druid let's be a little bit tricky though 
Oh, our opponent can buff and give a double strike. Okay, block with Cauldra. We'll exile their Titan. So our opponent might try to win with Elka instead. Okay, okay. Put out Druid. Gift. And pass their opponent. What shall our opponent do? Oh, our opponent passes. Let's try going for it. Equip. Oh, Seiju. But now I can do this. Mystic. Grabbing another gift. And then pass back. Our opponent's thinking long and hard here. Oh, but then they pass at us. And what a top deck. Gift. No infinite. And then play Karn. Grabbing Ballista. Which means we have lethal. So it's only game two. Opening hand is not dummy thick. We're not them all. Oof. I suppose we'll try it. Oh, opponent's also a good start. Another gift. Play it. Finding the other gift. And that's back opponent. Oh boy. Double amulets. Oof. And another grazer. Oh, sweet Jesus. And then opponent passes. Saga, but we can't play it. We'll put out Druid. And we'll see if our opponent's got it. Opponent plays dummy thick dryad. At least it's not Titan. Oh, but then passes back. Oh, it's two mana open. They might have a Seiju. But unfortunately for our opponents, we aren't using gift because we have Azir. Make infinite mana. Karn. Finding Ballista. And pinging for lethal. And there it is. And now it's on the next match. Oh, point hand. No Druid. But turn one Ren. And gift. That's pretty good. We'll keep. Play Ren. Getting back our land. And now it's back our opponent. Opponent cycles. Lose the mana open and passes. Another Ren. Fetch. Up Ren and return to land. And now it's time for gift. A clipping Ren. He's already 5 5. Swing for 5. Opponent cycles out of anger. And then goes to 13. What a loser. Opponent passes again. And ew, we're getting a lot of lands here. How about we play Canopy? Crack it to draw. Meh. Return Canopy to hand. Playing for 6. And then put out Longbow. Opponent cycles. Cycles. And now here comes the wipe. The one time we don't want Ren to be a creature. There goes the butt cheeks. Alright, opponent has us. So we're going game 2. Open a hand. Chancellor. Now Druid, but we can fetch one. So we'll keep. Play call. Grab Druid. And now pass opponent. Opponent cycles. Cycles again. Oh, and evokes grief. Taking our Druid. But I would have mythic idea. Play Mystic. Finding Caldera. Opponent cycles. But now be back to us. Ren. Fetch. Activating Mystic. Swing for 5. Opponent goes down to 9. We'll search with gift. Getting that gift. Here comes the cycling. More cycling. We get down to 6. So we'll have to pop off this turn. If our opponent plays living end here, we'll get back Druid. But then they would discard us. But then we can go Karn. And then we're one land away from the Snaring Bridge. But if they have Violent Outburst, then we just straight up lose here. Uh oh, opponent's passing. Move to combat. Darn, they have us. It turns out it's possible for us to lose. Now, have we been able to sideboard? I think we would have had a good matchup here. Because Druid being able to put itself in Graveyard is pretty good. We'll do one last match. This time against Burn. And now let's see if we get nutted on. Oh, plenty hand. Not that explosive. We just gotta hope our opponent doesn't have removal. Okay, play Saga and pass. Oh, it's with Monastery. And now it's back to us. Stone Forge, okay. I think we'll just go for it. Put out Druid. And hope they don't have any bolts. Now, oh, Lightning Bolt. Oh, opponent sends their Fulton passes. We exchange Saga. And try for Stone Forge. I'm sure our opponent will remove it. Yeah. Opponent plays Goblin Guide. Fist us for four. Oh, an Eidolon. Yep, our opponent has us. I don't think we can win this matchup without sideboarding. So we'll end it here. So there we have it. It will be interesting to see how this deck evolves. Will Chancel be worth it? Should we play Giver Runes? Is Rhino 6 worth it? A lot of questions that still need answers. So we'll have to revisit the deck when New Capanna comes out. As for the Ampersand giveaway, all you have to do for a chance to win is to be subscribed and interact in the comment section down below. And until next time, stay to me thick.